Hey, I'm going to hit this QNRX. This is coming down into yesterday's highs and half dollar support right now. So we took out low of day sell side coming down into half dollar yesterday's high support. What do I want? I just want to move up into 575. Now we do got some resistance at 567 as well. So it could fight there, but I'm going to look for that um, 575 natural level. Definitely want to play this one conservative since it, it hasn't really shown any strength this morning. And pre-market wasn't that impressive either. So it's pre-market not being that impressive. Not a lot of strength this morning. You definitely don't want to be too aggressive with it. So I just want a little retracement within this range. That's all I'm looking for. Looks like it's about to tap up into that bearish fair value gap. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it could fight right here. Just keep that in mind because you're coming up into resistance at the moment. Some short term resistance. Let's we'll see if it can give me a little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. That's what I wanted. Up a little bit more. Boom. Yeah, buddy. I love that. So BWV, I'm going to hit this. BWV, I'm hitting this one. Yes, sir beautiful setup all right i just went i went 425 i went 425 on bwv why 425 well natural resistance but also that's where that fair value gap that one minute imbalance is completely closed and you actually got some short-term resistance right here at 415 being that it's inside that fair value gap so it could fight right here but i'm anticipating that it's going to crack it and boom right there there's that break yes sir 430 all right so QNRX. So QNRX, the reason for buying this was yesterday's highs, but also there's something else in there. It's 550. What is 550? That is your half dollar. Half dollar is psychological support. So we got our chart level being yesterday's highs. We got our half dollar psychological psychological component in there as well to assist it. Um, oversold, um, still fairly early in the morning, first 10 minutes. Now, I stated from the from the jump, you don't want to be too aggressive on this play. Why don't you want to be too aggressive on it? Well, because it's been pretty weak ever since early in pre-market. It really hasn't been doing anything. It's been consistently trending lower ever since then. Been rolling over, weak open. So that's why in those scenarios, you really don't want to be too aggressive because now BWV, on the other hand, you can maybe look for a little bit more because this one just consistently pushing up higher, a lot of strength, a lot of volume. That wasn't the case for QNRX, and I knew that getting into it, that I just wanted a little scalp, a little retracement up into that range. What am I talking about when I say that range? Well, the swing high from 934, see that swing high right there to the low? I've said this in past lessons, but where is a premium? So from that high to that low, where is the premium at? Uh, that 50% level is at 572. So my PT on this was right above 50% equilibrium. So AKA in entering a premium market within that price range right there. And so yeah, 575 is what? That is natural resistance. It is a psychological level of resistance. That was the reason for the PT, but also you had that um that fair value gap in there. So what am I referring to? That fair value gap is so 936 AM, 937 AM, 938 AM. You got your fair value gap right there. So you got your imbalance. It's above 50% equilibrium of that price range. It, we got your psychological psychological level in there being the natural level. All of that contributed to that being the PT. Now, like I stated, and it did fight a little bit, I knew it could fight a little at that 567 area that was previous low of day, but also it was the beginning of that fair, value, that fair value gap, that imbalance. So I knew it could fight a little bit right there, which it did, but eventually we got that um, we got that move. And it didn't, it didn't clear that 575 by much. That's why I said you really want to be conservative with plays like this because then it ended up rolling, rolling right over, which I... I thought it would. Now, BWV, this one is the opposite. This one was showing strength all throughout pre-market. It sh showed strength at the opening bell. This is where everybody's eyes was at. This is where all the activity, all the volume was at. Everybody was focused on BWV. That's so, what was the play? What was the reasoning? Four bucks. Why four bucks? Four bucks is weekly support. So if we zoom out to the weekly, here one second. If we zoom out to the weekly chart, we can see that level. Um, yeah, right there. So actually 404 to be exact. So 404, that is from the week of 725, 2022. So really recent price swing, which is a plus. Your your newer levels are always better than your older levels. They usually hold up much better. Uh okay price swing. But look at that volume. This is really key. Like i I've told y'all so many times that volume is really key when establishing how strong a level is. Is it trading above average volume on that particular week? 
It sure is. You can see 92 million was traded that week. That's well above the average. Okay, so that puts um that gives me a lot more conviction that that level is gonna hold. So we had weekly support check. We had what else? We had whole number support at four check. The whole number is your strongest psychological level of support. We had an imbalance in there that was just about. I think it didn't feel it just by hair, but you had a that imbalance in there that we traded into. So um. 9.30 a.m., 9.31 a.m., 9.32 a.m., there's your imbalance. It traded into that imbalance with our levels, those levels again being weekly, whole number, and you had VWAP. So you had VWAP right smack on four bucks as well. So that's layer on layer on layer of support in there. Uh, was this a discount? Let's see. It might have just barely missed it. Uh, no, I think it I think it did. Yep. So we were in a discount. We were below 50% of that surge up higher. So we were below 50% and actually got our key Fibonacci retracement at 61%. So I mean, everything lined up on this one. Had strength, had an imbalance. We took out our sell side liquidity and we have multiple layers of support.